Metal Hurlant No. 2, published by Les Humanoids Associés in 1975. Now look at that Joule cover on Metal Hurlant No. 2. As you're looking at the book for like the 50th time and you're just like, oh wait a second, that's a Mobius. And here's of course the editorial by Philippe Joule. He comes in with an editorial cosmic music here. And here we have the index page for Metaholant. Number two, Tana Droulet, got gotcha, your Mobius Mandrika coming in. Gaul, of course, back with uh, the conquering armies. More Mobius. Another different Richard Corbin story. Not to the den yet. Oh no, not to the den. And this is the first adv adventure of Major Grubert the airtight garage, folks. We're going to check that out. First two pages of the magazine, we have Gale by Joule. Stunning pen and ink work. And, you know, I just, I love Joule's stuff in color. It is fantastic. And once again, I'll say it again, it's great to see black and white because you can enjoy the fantastic line work of Joule. Great two-pager, massive spaceship. Here's one of your stormtroopers. Yeah, this is 75. I think Gale was 73 or 74. What I'm getting at is it predated Star Wars. Just to, just to make that crystal clear. Three months into 1975. And uh, we already know that the Metal Herlant guys are hot on Vampirella and Creepy and Eerie. They're all over it. They know it. They love Warren. There's no doubt. Warren advertises in issue number two of Metal Herlant with Vampirella. Now, Mandrika comes in with something written by Dione, and uh, he is totally channeling, of course, Alex Raymond. And he has this. It's Jules Leclerc. Uh, and uh, this is an ongoing thing. There's always like one or two pages of this in, uh, God, at least every other issue of Metal Hurlant. Arzak number two, or now Harzak. <laughs> uh, the, the colors, the colors are killing me. Look at that. Jesus Christ. He's flying around. The bird that's carrying this, the stuff gets kind of sick. It gets a little too low to the tentacle plants, and they get the bird, sadly. And so uh, he's, uh, he's flying with the other bird, and the bird's getting apparently kind of sick. Something's going on. He needs food. He gives him a biscuit. And that's looks to help the the birdie he's flying they find this monument there's this giant creature on top of it um and uh yeah so arzak is going in and he's going to give this monster hell and he does he jumps off the bird he's behind the monster this i'm assuming this is water this is mobius doing watercolor on his own pen and ink i have never seen anything say def definitively with arzak oh yes i painted you know the i did the coloring directly on arzak but i'm assuming that's what it was with watercolor and there is the creatures coming after him and <laughs> he doesn't seem to be that concerned <laughs> And so uh, he quickly jumps, and of course the bird's flying under the archway, picks up Arzak. The poor creature, he was too stupid, he fell over, and he's clutching with this claw. Look at that coloration, man. It's going to purple and going into like a pink and orange, just on his hand. And the guy, the monster's hanging off, he's hanging by his one claw, you know, and, and meanwhile, Arzak's just, uh, he's munching out. He's having some dinner. Eight monsters, just like, oh, crap. 
And uh, the ape monster slowly slips off. And then the end, Arzak is still up there. And the apes being devoured by the tentacle plants. Fiend conquering armies. Fantastic. Gaul art again. I mean. Check out this one page. Uh, and above, there is a spider that has built this incredible web. This is the kind of fireplace that I want. Demon fireplace. <laughs> it's just too cool. Look at that freaking thing, man. And the way that he uses it. He's got a split panel, but he's, and he's bringing the face in. You see? That is just... Mm. Magnifique! My God, the French is rubbing off on me. And then we come to uh, another Corbin story that's not Dan. Yeah. And issue number two of Metal Herlant, they went... With issue one and two, they went with one-shot stories before getting into Dan in issue three, as we will see in a later video. But uh, this one is called Going Home, copyright 1972, by Corbin. And here we go with more Joule. Black and white Joule goodness. Check that for a second. I just want to make sure that I... Oh, that's ours. <laughs> ours by Julie. All right. But literally, ours. I was kind of... I had to check that for a second. More black and white Julie. It's a little more conventional, if you will. For Julie. And I definitely think it's an older piece. It doesn't have a date on it, but I'm thinking it could be like more around 1970. 69, 70, possible. Opta again. Article here. Julie coming in with an article. There's a little, there's a little airtight garage. There's Gruber right there. You know, it's a, a Mobius strip. And this is, this is like, so I don't think this appears, for example, in heavy metal ever. You know, I mean, it's just, just certain things that you're not going to see. Got this little, it seems like a little comedic strip there. And, of course, they're advertising Metal Herlant number one. Uh, you've got posters here. You've got the Le Bandar file book. And uh, ad for Futuropolis, again. Love their ads, by the way. They're really hilarious. They're, of course, their Mickey Mouse reminds me a bit of Mickey Rat, which is near and dear to my heart. Robert Armstrong's great Mickey Rat. Jules Claire again, Hi Lou, and the back page, which is Phantom of the Opera. Oh yeah, uh, it's rock and roll, the metal, rock and folk, you know, screaming metal, rock and folk magazine. I'm not really sure what the direct connection was between Rock and Folk Magazine and Metal Herlant, but I love this photo and I love the movie Phantom of the Paradise by Brian De Palma. That ends number two, and in another video, an upcoming video, I'm going to be doing issues number three and four. I mean, just check out that cover. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be good, folks. Get ready for issues number three and four. They're going to be great. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I will talk to you soon.